I've made it clear before. Absolutely not. The existing world trees won't suffice. We must plant a new one. A seed from Nordrassil is the only hope for a world tree potent enough to restore our immortality. The dragon aspects or nature will never endorse such recklessness. Without their blessing, this tree won't bring back our immortality. We must create one of such magnitude that even the aspects cannot ignore. Otherwise, all that we are will fade away. Your arrogance blinds you. The aspects will never sanction this. We won't vanish. Our people will adapt and forge a new way of life. It might be time for us to embrace a different future. And forsake our ancient heritage? Our ancient heritage is riddled with pride, hubris, and a lust for power that nearly brought about our downfall. It's time to leave that in the past. I cannot stand idly by. I won't witness our race and civilization scattered to the wind. I will restore our immortality and our old way of life, whatever the cost. Did you succeed in convincing him, Father? No, my son. We must explore alternative paths. Malfurion refuses to even attempt. I assure you, my boy, I will reclaim both you and our immortality. By the gods, I swear this to you. I believe in you, Father. With the completion of the port at Feathermoon Stronghold, our expansion across southern Kalimdor can proceed. Chandras has done well. We must address the foul creatures stirring within Maradon, devouring the land. Once dealt with, I'll ready the druids to regrow the fauna of Desolus. Shando Stormrage, it is paramount that I speak with you immediately. What is it, Captain? We are under attack. By whom? The Green Dragonflight. The Green Dragonflight? We've enjoyed peace for thousands of years. Why would they attack us now? We do not know, but they are attacking all over the region and quickly ascending the mountain. Where are the enemy forces currently located? They have reached the center of the region and are now engaged in our army. We won't be long until they have broken our ranks. What about civilians? Have they reached safety? They are retreating on the mountain, but not all are so lucky. The dragons are merciless. The green dragons have never been aggressive or merciless before. I sense something dark about this. I sense it as well. Who is leading the charge? Is Isera in command? The dreamer has not been sighted, but her four closest lieutenants are present in the region. This is troubling news. Captain, regroup with the surviving refugees. We will handle the invasion. Right away. We need to move quickly. Lethon. Mighty Lethon, 
The Green Dragonflight and the Night Elves have been allies for ages. Why have you chosen to invade our lands and turn against us? You and your kind have been fighting these lands long enough. <laughs> I see now that you and your race must be removed for this to end. Defiling these lands? We tend to these lands. We have not defiled them. What madness is this? We have seen the truth. There is only the Nightmare. The Nightmare? What truth lies within this nightmare you speak of? Uncover genuine harmony and embrace your transformation. Become one with us in the everlasting cycle of renewal. You are not Lethon. He would never condone such wanton destruction of nature. Your actions betray everything the Green Dragonflight stood for. We will never submit to your cause. Be gone, fiend. So be it. If it's ever fire you seek, then prepare to face its wrath. May the light of Elune guide us and protect us from your twisted version of purification. Ah, I can sense the shadows upon your hearts. There can be no rest for the weak.